Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem.
This is it! I am the tiger, pal! Look for the Black Baron! Take him out and this competition is all over! And go easy on the throttle! It's been sticking lately! Quit worrying! I'll see you in the winner's circle! Your biplane is in pieces. But <laughs> we're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years in fisticuffs. Pugilism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On go!
Where? Wait, you? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe. It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. She was fitting in just fine. <laughs> <laughs>